Hi, I'm Jeff Payne, and I'm a preventative maintenance instructor with Caterpillar. One of the questions I'm constantly asked is how to take a good SOS sample and not contaminate the sample when I'm taking it and get a good sample for the lab to look at for their uh, checking the oil or coolant, which is what we're going to do in this case, coolant. To do this sample properly, we need to pop the cap off, take a clean lint-free rag, and wipe off here. There may be some dust buildup, maybe the cap was missing, or somebody forgot to put it on the last time they took a sample. But we need to wipe that off. And then what we're going to do is take two samples here. We're going to take a clean-out sample, which is where a lot of people go wrong. They'll start off with just taking their good sample and send that in. It'll have some dirt and contamination in it because of the little hole that's in the end of this valve here. You can have a little dust and dirt in that hole. Also, if you're doing one of these samples, you must make sure that your valve here has that little hole in the end. If it doesn't have a hole, it's not an SOS sampling port. So what I'm going to do is make up a bottle. The cat has these little packages that are nice. It comes with two caps, and a bottle, and a hose. And then you have to buy this separate. And this is a little safety tube holder that goes on here. And we're going to take that, slide it into the, the bottle here. Now I've went ahead and made two bottles up. I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to take a sample. This will be my dirty clean out sample. And then when I'm done with that, I'll take my good sample that we're going to label and send into the lab. I'm going to have my assistant go ahead and start the machine up for us now. Okay, what we have here, this is my good sample. You'll notice on this sample here, my clean out, I didn't take a full bottle, and we really don't need to take a full bottle. But on our, our, our good sample here, I filled the bottle up to the line where it says fill to, and now I want to put my cap on here. So my, my good cap, I left it in the bag until I was ready to use it. A lot of guys will take that cap, stick it in their pocket so it's convenient, and then they'll get lint on it, and then you'll, you'll have a bad reading showing that you have lint in the system. At this point, you want to take it and make sure that we, we label it good so we know the machine number that it came off of and the hours on the machine. And by, uh, by taking good SOS samples at regular intervals, we'll be able to work with your dealer, and uh, they can help you with the longevity of your machine, predict um, failures before they happen and extend the life of your machine. So regular SOS samples that are clean and non-contaminated are very helpful to the life of your machine.